delayed, a delayed start because first base was not inserted into the ground. All right, Terry, we good with these bases? I don't know. It's gonna have to do, I guess. Hand into Bub. Bub smacks it. That's gonna fall. It's a base hit for Bub. It's a walk to Jake. Joe G batting now with the first two men on, a single and a walk. A bingo scores two. Okay, Joe G batting. Early danger spot for Beast Mode as the first two men are on. That's a high pitch. Hannon unable to uh, get that high strike hole that he wants. He's questioning Phil, where was that? One and one. Joe G agrees with the call. Four outfielders, Joji, Joji, that's a rocket. That's gonna split the gap and get past Shimmy. Bub will score, that's one. Jake hesitated. Ball gets away, it's a three run home run. Joe Greenberg, nobody out, three, nothing. Come on. That's the greatest footage I ever got. <laughs> Joe G, I heard you talking before you got to first, and you said that splits the gap. You saw it right off the bat. Ball was smoked. That was not a bloop by any measure. That ball was smoked and flying. Yep, took a batter out right away. Saw it right away. Three runs before an out is recorded. That's the start Chicago needed. Spanky. Jake, you uh, hesitated around the third, I noticed. I, <laughs> Joe I G almost, almost ran you well, over. I was going like this. I'm like, is that for me or is that for Bub? Gotcha. So I was halfway. I was just like half behind Bub. Yeah, I saw the hesitation, but the throw was way off, and Joe G was able to just scoot on home. Three nothing. No outs. No outs. I'll have to say I'm gonna eat my words, but I picked you guys to split, so I don't know what he's uh, what he's talking about really. <laughs> I don't always pick you to get split. split because Stephen Gidney wasn't here. Yeah, he's not here. He said we don't have a good hitting team. Let's go, Joe G. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's up now? Ruby, Ruby, Shalu up. Okay. Help, help, help. Yeah. We'll take you, baby. Henry, this is what you wanted. Two. We could agree that that's the greatest footage of all time. Oh, my God. These like, I could put that on videos for the next 10 years if I want. That should be part of the selling video for next year. <laughs> I think These so. Two madmen basically hooking up in the camera. <laughs> Saliva. So it's not the first time though. Yeah. Dude, what pushed you to uh, what pushed you to show up today, dude? My team. My team. Are you kidding that me? doesn't usually mean anything. Of course it does. What do you mean? The first eight weeks that we rained out, you were missing every one. We were rained out. <laughs> no, but you were gonna miss Don't them if we played. By myself. <laughs> if we played, you were gonna miss them. <laughs> there was one week. One no, week. you were on a retreat. You were adopting chickens. I saw everything. The chickens need our help. Okay, one eight hundred. Buy a chicken. Okay, everyone's call, their part. Call Rebecca Greenstein. <laughs> Rebecca's head out. Is it the greatest footage of all time, Raw and Joe G? Unbelievable. Was that so the greatest thing ever? I'm so glad you got it. I don't need to. I don't need to cover anything else. That's up the middle. So Beast Mode always goes for outfielders, and in that case, it did not work for them as they went right no up the apps. middle. No apps. Great arm and right, very good arm in Joe S. Average is left without it. Average is the gal has got a nice arm. Okay, so the first five men on for Chicago. Same thing, Mo. I've got out. Why would I move out of bag? A bloop. I'm not on deck. A walk, a home run, a walk, and a base hit up the middle. No outs. Ruby, no outs. Home out. Look at this heavy shit that he struck him out. Swinging on the changeup. Guys, let the ump, ump the game. Enough of the nonsense. They're gonna tag. He's gonna be out by a mile. That inning could have been a lot worse. Heck of a lot worse. Great job by Ralph settling yeah. down and uh, got the strikeout. The got the strikeout and then Simi made a great play throwing him out going to third. And an unacceptable tag up there. I mean, Simi caught the ball, I don't know, 20 feet behind second base. And... Yes, the purist in me uh, threw up a little when I saw that. Yes, but, but, the, but the beast mode in you was Loved smiling. It. It, yes. um, also... 
Ralph, if Beast Mode comes back and wins this game, you'll look at those last two at bats, strikeout and double play as the turning point because they had first five men on base there. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's not the way I would want to start the game. But he's not giving you that. Yeah. He's not giving you that borderline <laughs> strike slash high. Yeah. Two. <laughs> the strike that. All right, Phil clearly calling that low strike, not the high one. Seferati rips one. Saul is there, two outs. Excuse me? That's illegal. What do you mean by that? You want to elaborate? I looked at it. It doesn't have the ASA or USA proof. I see the USA. What do you mean? It's right there. Ground ball. Oh, nice play, Momala. Fires across. That's good defense by Chicago. I have not seen Chicago make two ground ball plays Let's like go. that all season. Let's hear what Jeffrey has to say now on his way in. Nice play, Mo. Nice play. All right. There's that defense I was talking Let's about. Go. That's what I was talking about. Okay. All right. So how's that okay. mouth guard? Woo. You wearing it? Oh, I thought I, I actually bought a mouth guard. I didn't buy a mouth guard. You said you bought a mouth guard. Got a cup. That's all oh I need. Get in front God. of the ball. All right. All right. Front of the be, ball. Uh, it's all great playing. I'm, I'm, I'm still pissing the strike. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's you. Raw swings. He rips one. Look at him go. Look at this man go. Oh. 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 Let's get Raw Kamish. Happy Mother's Day, Raw. Happy Mother's Day, baby. All for the mothers that we love. Vicky G. Let's go. Two, we call him this a demotion from catching or promotion to batting? Is this what, How do you call this? I think he's a better batter than he's a fielder. Okay. He's, uh, he's, he's been trying to work on his swing. Getting good contact. Is... Good, eye, good, good eye, pitch eye. by Ralph because yeah, Phil's been calling the low one. Yeah. So I like that. It's a good idea out of, uh, out of Hannon. And that is a bloop. And first two men on again for Chicago. That brings up the 10 batter. Very early for the runner, up 3 nothing. You don't know where this game is going to go. Bub, up 3-0, using that runner very early, but... Listen, Joji's the captain. Yeah, yeah, we know who the captain is. Let's go, Saul, let's go. Okay, Saul towel batting. Saul swings. That's fly ball to right. Let's see the tag from the runner. And look at the runner. Gets the third. Raw would have scored, though. Raw would have scored. Bob, that's going to drop in. He's two for two today. And it's 4 nothing Chicago. And now Jake and Joe G batting. Extremely low, very low strike zone. He walked him. But look, I've hey, seen what you say. I'm pitching 35 years. I never saw a pitcher approach a 3 0 count like that before. Just like that. Just never saw it. Wow. Never saw it in my career. You've been around the block a few times. I've seen them all. Jeff, when you came in the league. I've learned you don't win over umpires like that. Who were, yeah, who were the um, pitchers when you were like a rookie? I was 17, maybe even 16. I had the tutelage of Ezra Ashkenazi. Wow. He taught me to rise it, taught me how to pitch. I sat behind him. And then the next year, Mo Levy gave me my break at 18 years old. And I haven't uh, stopped pitching since. Wow. So 18, how old are you now? And Chubby was pitching at the gym. Chubby. Obviously, Joe G rips one line drive straight to Ray S's. I like That's the hardest hit ball of the day, <laughs> except for the home run. All right. And now Ruby Shalou will have to bring him home. Uh, what about Storefront? He was a pitcher as well, no? Storefront, I don't think he was in my day. No? Storefront was not there. Definitely Ezra, Chubby, Moses, Red. Great. Of course. Ruby Shalou, the pitch. 
And it must have been 3 2 because three two. that's 4 4. Walk the man home, it's 5 0. Henry, ground ball, first chance for Adler goes to his leg. That's his first test. One run will score, it's 6 0. We said it before the game, he's just got to make the routine plays, and that went right through his legs. And now Mo Mala can make him really pay. Ike, when you're filling in, yeah. you gotta just make the routine plays. You don't have to try to be Stephen Gindy. Me? It's a ground ball directly to yeah, Adler. Exactly. Just make that routine play. There's a lot of hype in the chat going on about Uri Adler. Like, who's this guy, yeah. you know? <laughs> Mo Mala, oh, wow! And Matute, I hope that's on video as Matute walks right in front of me, but I think I got the play. <laughs> How many in there, Phil? Three? Six nothing. Interesting play from later in the game. The game already in hand. This is late. The game's already over. And uh, here's a base hit by Bub. Abdo stops, goes, stops, goes. The throw gets completely out of whack. But look at this play by Ralph. It ricochets right to him. He feels it and tags him out. Nice play. Figured I'd share that one. And then the final out of the game, Jake Yogi Kassin popping up to end the game. Beast Mode loses to Chicago 8-2. to two. Game two, both teams are now two and three entering this game. That's Shimmy Cohen batting in the leadoff spot with a base hit. They kept their lineup the same, except they moved Shimmy from the 10 hole to the one hole. Everyone else stayed where they've been comfortable. Joseph Ferrati, a fly out. Shimmy's gonna draw the throw, see where it goes. The throw is right there. Nice job, Ruby Shalou. So man on first and one out. Ike Mavora later in the inning. That gets through, that gets by Joe G. One run will score to the one. Nothing beast mode in the first oh, wow. inning. Hank Dweck now batting. He's going to ground out to Mo Mala. Makes the snag. Looks him back. Throws to second. The throw from second comes home. And the ball gets away from Ike Espitesh. Got to secure the ball. And now the entire team will come to complain that he didn't slide. You don't need to slide. It's slide or avoid. And the entire team, I mean, Bub plays right field. Henry is the shortstop. Every person on this team, now they're going to the other umpire. These are the types of things you just don't see in any other league. But as RVJ put it, my father was sitting at this game. He said he never saw more complaining than between Beast Mode and the Black Sox. Balls and strikes all day long being complained about. We've all seen this scene before. This is the type of nonsense that we all hate. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing to argue about here. The umpire made the call, and now he has to explain to everybody. Everyone else it doesn't matter if you either slide or you avoid, okay? He had a place for it. This thing with hitting the hand, it could have happened if he was sliding. It still could have happened. But he had to slide. We got you down. We got you down. Slide or avoid. Yes, he did. I'm not if you read through the script, then you must tell him I'm out of here. I'm not going to I'm not going to tell him that they have to slide. Yeah, I'm with Terry 100% on that one. Anyway, four innings later, because the second, third, and fourth were all pop-ups, routine pop-ups for both sides. Nothing to show there. Finally, a base hit by Ruby Shalou up the middle, puts men on second and third. And then Henry finds the hole. That cuts the lead right in half. It is now two to one beast mode. Now Chicago a chance to tie it, but another pop-up, this one by two. He's not alone. Everyone is popping up on both sides. Bottom yeah, of the sixth. Time running out for Chicago. Heart of their order up. Jake Dweck leads off with a ground ball up the middle. Joe G, another ground ball. Outfield playing so deep that he's going to get a double out of this. Jake will get to third. There's nobody out in a two-to-one game. Next batter is Ruby Shalou, but he does a one-hopper to third. Can't do that. Does not advance either runner. Terrible out by Shalou there. Mo Mala then comes up. This is a sack fly. It's barely on the outfield grass. Amazingly, the throw gets away. Got to be able to punch him out over there. I don't know. Seems very shallow to me. Uh, two all game now, and then two strands the remaining runner. So two all go going to the seventh. Okay, leading off the bottom of the seventh. It is still a two-all game. Raw Dog flies out. That's one dead. Next batter, Abdo Malach up the middle. That's a big base hit. The winning run is on first base. Sol Towel now up the middle. 
Everybody safe. So two runners on from the bottom of the lineup. That brings up Bub. Full count. Inside. Sammy S is yelled three, not, not the umpire. It was Ty coming into this inning or you tied it up this inning? Ty coming into this inning. Okay. But I saw two nothing early for a big part of the game. Spanky. And Bismo keeps yelling three on every pitch. Bub almost lost it when he heard it was strike three, which it wasn't. Two, two to Spanky. One out. Zach Fly could get it done. Raw the runner. Spanky, ground ball to Mike. It's got to come home. Tremendous scoop, Jake Yogi Cassidy. Wow. Let's go, Joe. Game saving play. Mikey Miz on the infield short hopped it to Yogi. <laughs> no, they told him three times he coming home, he coming home. But what do you think of Yogi with that scoop? Wow. By the way, Norman, you missed it. What I miss? Abdo was on second. Yes. And we used the pinch runner raw to run to Abdo. See the pitch. Swinging. Curving and right. Al Sit makes the play. Beast mode gets out of the jam. We go to extra innings. Chicago had the game in their hands, Jake. That's a game saving play, literally. Unbelievable, Jake and Joe G did not come through. They had a million opportunities to score. No outs, second and third, no fly balls. And the same thing happened again. I mean, Jake has to fly out there. The game's over. The game's over. Oh my goodness. They're hitting ground balls that are not even like little tiny drops wow little tiny drops okay that's a double by mo mala when off the glove shimmy almost made a tremendous play that would have been a tremendous catch i think okay um ike mavora what's up didn't speak to you all day he had some uh, first game was not a good game anywhere on any field four blowouts in game ones yes but game twos are all tight and does not get tighter than this. Ralph Matute showed up today. A chance to walk off a 2 2 Matute Greenstein. It's the two. Ground ball. That's off of Adler. Play at third. Safe at third. Safe at first. <laughs> Hank and Reyes is going at it. The call was made. You never saw Norman so many so many argued calls by this great team in your life. Really? You never, never saw every time, every play, every grounder, every line out. It's the craziest thing you'll ever see. Arguing pitches on the mound, arguing plays the first. Yeah, I'm going to ask you. I got him safe. Sliding in under the tag. Thank you. Safe. Wow. Everybody wow. in the dugout. Wow. Shut up. No. And they're telling me no. I'm back. I thought he was safe. I don't know why he grounded out there. Jake Yogi made a great play. Raw. Ground ball to third. Sammy throws across. That's the inning. We go to the ninth. Okay, Uri Adler batting top of the ninth. Mother's Day spectacular. This is why we start early. We play a couple of extra innings. Nobody stressed. Mikey Mitch. Yeah! Shoeless Joe ran away from that ball. Adler makes a turn. That's it. Okay. How's he playing at short today? I saw early, yeah, not good, but. Nice okay. So it's a little low, whatever. It's manageable. It's all you need. Yeah. It's manageable. You need, you need it. Of hand. Live to get there another week. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ike Mavora up, my favorite. Yeah, you could. Ike, ground ball. That's off of Momala. Safe ball gets away. Ori, coming home. Hit the plate. The plate is safe. This mode. Let's go. Wow. Okay, Hank Deweck now batting. Ike Mavor has had many game-winning hits in his life. That one was an interesting one. He ripped it off of Mo Mala's glove. Mo Mala threw it across because Ike's injured. Would have been close. But then the ball got away and Uri Adler. Hank bombs one. Very deep. Jake is there. 
Henry's going out to get the cut. Unbelievable throw. Holy cow. Uri, take us through the rounding of the bases there. Like, what did you see? When did you commit to going home? I saw you hesitated for a second. You run hard. Yeah. Run hard, play hard. Throw the ball, ball squared away. Extra innings, you got to take chances. Got to take the, You took the chance with only one out at the time. You were on third, but then you saw the ball trickling away, so you said, let me just go. Let's do it. Be smart. I don't even think there was a play at the plate there, by the way. Nabdo, pop up. Adler, under it, one out. So, ground ball, right back to Hannon. And now the Black Sox are down to their last out, but top of the order, Bub, then Jake, then Joe G. Ike, Jake had this game on his bat, base low to one out, flies out deep enough there, this game's over. I know you have good arms out there, but. Rap stepped up, started throwing heat. Start overpowering some of the batters. And how about the play by Jake Yogi Kassin at the plate? Mikey. Mikey at second Mikey base. Mikey made a great play at second. And Jake fielded the throw. Nice infielder, Mikey. Okay. He's been making plays. That's what happens when you get these shorthanded games. You discover things. Pitch to Bub. Bub pops it up. I got it. I got it. Or Adler calls him up, and that's the game. Beast mode. Shorthanded. Gets the shorthanded win. Yeah, way to be, Ralph. Come on. Holy crap. Everybody steps up. Where to be, boys? Where to be? Where to be? Let's go. Good play, good play. Good play. Let's go. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, let's go. We're doing a video. Mike Mavora had the game winning hit. Let's go. 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 let us Somehow, it happens all the time. You're missing your first pick. You move things around. Seems like you discovered an infielder in Mikey Miz. Yeah, two tremendous here, plays by Mikey. Uh, but really, this game was Ralph. First inning of the first game, we had a rough inning. Yeah. We fell down early. But game two, he was lights out. He was unbelievable, carried us. And uh, extra innings, 3-2. I mean, that's a character win if I ever saw one. They had Jake Dweck batting. With the bases loaded, one out, and Ralph did not give up the fly ball, which is almost impossible in softball. Like, I didn't even control that, but Ralph he overpowered him. doubts him, but he... You guys are three and three now. Three splits. Split, split, split. Nice and boring. Okay, three and three. Fan of the year, how many games has it been to? Four. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Four. It's only three weeks. Four, you're counting single games. Four single games. Two weeks, gotcha, gotcha. Look at the beast mode, all smiles in the beast mode. Oh, that's it. That's it. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Who needs Stephen Gindy? Say it. We need Stephen Gindy. Who needs it? Do you need him? No. I need him. I need him. You don't need him. You don't need him. I want him back. I want him back. I don't know. It's the best. Mike. What's up, man? Everyone's giving you the game ball. Besides for Ralph, who pitched great. And Ike got the game winning hit, but they're saying they discovered an infielder when they needed one desperately in you. I do what I got to do to help the team. Uh, I don't know. I'm still a little struggling at the plate, but two rockets. I mean, Jake it's smoked coming. it. Jake it's smoked coming. that ball. It's coming. That looked like a sure base hit. Don't worry about the it. The hitting is coming, and beast mode. Coming. You got to get a split when you shorthand. That's exactly what you guys did. Here's the star of the day, Ralph Hannon. Ralph, hey, unbelievable. I mean, you're in this league how many years now? It's it's up there. How many times do you see the shorthanded win? It just happens over and over again somehow. Listen, we would do. Hey! No, don't do that. You're wasting the gum. We did it for Steven. So yeah. We miss you, Steven. But not that Uri let anything up. He really had a solid game. But uh, game one was tough. We needed the, we needed the second one.